Hey everybody, Mrs. Bodishan here. So today we're going to be learning how to write covalent compound formulas. Let's go ahead and get started. First, is it a covalent bond? You need to make sure that your elements are all made up of non-metal. So it's two non-metals bonding together. You have a covalent bond and you can move forward with naming the formula. So you need to make sure you have all of your prefixes memorized. I put them over here so you could take a look at them and you can get to know them as you're learning how to write these formulas. So let's talk about our steps. So step one, you're going to write the chemical symbols. Step two, you're going to turn the prefixes into subscripts behind the element symbol. So let me show you what I mean. We're going to go ahead and do one together. So dinitrogen trioxide. So let's go ahead and do step one write the chemical symbols. So we did nitrogen is N and oxygen is O. I know this because I'm not really looking at the prefix, right? I'm just looking at the element. So again, I'm ignoring the prefix. I'm just looking at the element. And remember the last, the last word or element is going to have the I on the end. So don't go looking on the periodic table for oxide. It's not there, but oxygen is, right? So this is going to be oxygen. Now we're going to do step two, which is turn the prefixes into subscripts behind the element symbol. So our di, if you look over here, di stands for two. So we put the two in a subscript behind the N for nitrogen. And then tri is three. So we went ahead and we put the three as a subscript behind the oxygen. And that is how you write the covalent bond for dinitrogen trioxide. Let's do one more. We're going to do sulfur hexachloride. So let's go ahead and follow our steps. Write your chemical symbols. Again, we're writing sulfur. We're not looking at the prefix hexa to figure out what element this is. Instead, we're looking at the um, second half, which is the chloride. Remember, you're not going to find chloride on the periodic table. This has been altered. The ending's been altered to the IDE. So really, it's chlorine on the periodic table. So we're going to go ahead and write that CL down. And then we're going to do our second step and we're going to turn those prefixes into subscripts behind the element. So sulfur does not have a prefix. And if you remember our um, exception to the rule, we do not write mono in front of the first element. So there's really just an understood one of this sulfur. So I don't have to write the one. It is an understood one in front and as a subscript. So the next one is hexa. And if I look over here, hexa is six. So I can write that six as a subscript right on the um, right hand side of the chlorine symbol. And you are done. You just wrote covalent compound formulas. Thank you all for watching. Bye everybody.